Mark Travis is president and CEO of Intrepid Capital, and his Intrepid Small Cap Fund is, again, the top U.S. small cap fund over the short and long term, according to an annual Bloomberg ranking. Welcome to Street Smart, Mark. Uh, good to have you. you. Perhaps you know a little bit about volatility because you're such a great surfer. As an aside, that's a side well, note, but one worth mentioning. Great, great may be a stretch, but I do enjoy it. <laughs> So tell me, why does uh, volatility work for you and small cap stocks in particular? Well, I think, Lisa, that, um, you know, when people are fearful, they make um, valuation errors. And um, we're, we're bottom-up driven stock pickers at Intrepid Capital. And um, when there's a disconnect between price and value, we try to take advantage of that disparity. And um, we felt as the spring rolled on, particularly by late April, that prices were fairly high for small cap shares, the margins were high, and our cash levels had built up to that point. And then when the whole uh, debt debacle started to un unravel, uh, we were able to find uh, high quality businesses at a discount to what we thought were conservative values. So we've taken money out of uh, T-bills and invested in the stock market. So uh, I think Benjamin Graham is the one who said be greedy when others are fearful, but obviously he's the grandfather of all value investing. Do you look at growth as well? Is that key for you too? Well, Matt, you know, that, that uh, Ben Graham quote kind of reminds me of the commodity traders uh, lesson. The uh, rules are very simple. Uh, following the rules is very difficult. Um, you know, it's easy to say uh, buy when there's a disconnect, but uh, I found that not that many people are are capable of doing it. But yeah, you know, when you're trying to estimate value, you're trying to figure out how much the cash flows are going to grow over time and uh, what those are worth. So we're trying to make a conservative estimate of that growth and uh, what we should pay for it. And so, yeah, we do. But many of our businesses are uh, what many would consider staid, um, uh, slow growing, uh, but they're all generous uh, cash flow generators, which over time accrues to the benefit of the shareholders. So Mark, where do you see opportunities here? Well, there are a couple of names, uh, Lisa, that uh, all of them have had uh, what I call activist activity here really in the last two weeks. Uh, a company that I actually owned, uh, that we own the equity and the debt is uh, Collective Brands, the old Payless shoe stores. Uh, they brought in a new CEO in June. Uh, they're looking at strategic alternatives. Uh, their domestic stores are really showing uh, negative comps and not growing, um, whereas their international division is doing quite well. And they acquired Stride Ride a few years ago, and that uh, brand, uh, Sperry uh, Topsider in particular, is doing well. Uh, another name, uh, CoreLogic, it's, a, uh, you know, it's involved in the mortgage business, which, as you might imagine, is uh, suppressed. And um, they also supply a lot of real estate data. Um, they, they've... Um, They've hired Greenhill in the last uh, week to try to figure out some strategic alternatives. Yeah, both of them, um, uh, by the way, but let me just jump in here because CoreLogic and Collective Brands are both sort of M&A plays, right? Or it, what about Oshkosh? That one looks more interesting to me as far as the economy is concerned. Well, well, I mean, I think in all cases, you've got something that's caused uh, hopefully a disconnect between price and value. I don't think you're going to find a 50 cent dollar um, when everything is rosy and the business is growing rapidly and margins are expanding. Um, Oshkosh, as you mentioned, Matt, uh, has Mr. Icon as a new shareholder. Um, it's a very, uh, I think, established business that the sum of the parts, uh, the share price could be up, uh, you know, 15 bucks from here. And, um, you know, I, I have a feeling he'll agitate till he gets the price he wants. But it's also trading for you know, a, a mid to low single digit multiple of earnings and pre-tax cash flow. Mark, we know you best for picking stocks, but you did just mention debt. Are you also looking at the debt of other companies here? Because this is a market where we've seen huge outflows from high yield as, as well as just basic or investment grade corporate debt. Uh, absolutely. Our, our focus for the last uh, 17 years <laughs> has been uh, typically smaller to mid-cap equity and uh, high-yield debt. And so over the last uh, 90 days, you've seen corporate spreads widen out, and um, I think that's created some opportunity for us to pick up uh, attractive, lightly levered high-yield debt. Um, there's the name I mentioned a moment ago, uh, Payless Shoes. We own the 8 of 2013 
with an eight and a quarter coupon and the price is slightly below par. So we're going to earn a little bit of 8% for the next two years in that, that credit. That gets to your economic outlook, though, Mark, and that was what I was trying to sort of uh, pin down here because the stock picks seem to be all M&A related. What do you think about um, high yield debt, for example? I mean, is it much riskier right now or do you think that worries of a, another recession are overblown? Well, I think sometimes, Matt, when uh, credit spreads widen out, it's certainly a precursor to uh, a recession. But I feel like that we are, unlike many uh, high yield debt managers, typically are very short duration, and our credits tend to be much more lightly levered than uh, under the hood of the typical high yield fund. So, um, you know, I, I think that we have names like, uh, as I mentioned, Payless. Another name would be American uh, Greetings, the, the greeting card business, uh, maybe a five-year piece of paper there, where we're not taking much duration risk, but we're getting a very attractive spread to what's today maybe a 220 10-year uh, treasury. Got it. Uh, so also much like in equities, obviously, when you're picking the name from the bottom up there, uh, it's a better bet for you. Mark, we, we appreciate you spending some time with us. Thanks so much. We hope you'll come back to the streets. Mark, Mark Travis uh, there from Intrepid Capital. Quick